Some say we're rebels, misfits, renegades, or even outsiders. But if you're gonna throw us into the fire, we'll be sure to wear our black suits and carry our silver weapons. Cause when we come out of these ashes, we will certainly rise like the phoenix inside us all. When I, when I started out, I didn't do this. I was more of a sign shop. You know, I learned, I was learning lettering and truck lettering and stuff like that. And then it kind of like just slowly morphed into the painting and I was just, you know, painting all friends stuff. And, uh, and then just realized that was more fun and it was what I wanted to do. Um, I always wanted something that didn't feel like a job. So, uh, that fit the bill and I've been doing it ever since. I mean, for most of my painting days, I was always, um, I'd use everything. I'd use a little bit of this, and use a little bit of that, whatever I could use to get the job done. And then it was probably 10 years ago, roughly, that I made the switch, because I, I just found that within this system, I could, you know, there was everything there that I needed to use, and it all worked, um, and it was such a, a just a seamless transition into using the system that it worked for me. Um, and, and finally, I had, you know, one system where from start to finish I could use that one system, which was a real benefit to me in the shop. I really like the candies. I really like being able to mix my own candies. Um, and, and I just, I, I've never had I've never had a an actual mixing bank in my shop till I started using Major. So I, I, I love the fact that I can make whatever I need. Um, but most of the time I'm using, I use a lot of silver and a lot of candies. Uh, so that's probably the thing that I enjoy the most is, is being able to cocktail my own candies. Then I gotta write it down though so I remember I have to fix it. <laughs> I've been using the, the MS42 almost exclusively. Um, I love it, sprays nice, lays out nice, buffs nice. Um, but I've been trying to, uh, not trying to, I'm starting to toy with some of the other clears, uh, like the AG40. Um, but 99% of the time I'm using MS42. If there's one thing that like builds, you know, strength in your ammo and your custom paint belt, it's screwing stuff up. I mean, you learn tremendous amounts of stuff by screwing up. And I think by doing stuff that you don't normally do, like, hey, let me try this technique, let me try that out, and you actually screw it up, you learn a ton. I think that's what's missing, honestly, in, in you know, the new young generation of of painters is that they don't they don't spend the years screwing stuff up trying to learn it you know what I mean they just want to watch a video on how to do it and you gain so much knowledge by screwing stuff up so I, I'd probably say that's the biggest hurdle is messing stuff up but it's also the thing that that makes you in my opinion a better painter oh god I painted hidden stuff I've hit stuff in paint jobs for years. Um, yeah, that's always fun. Oh yeah, I've hid numerous, I've hid people's names that were just standing in the shop at the time. And I've told them, hey, I'm gonna put your name here. I do it all the time, I still do it. The busier the paint job, the more stuff you get <laughs> that you can hide. It's funny, every time I see a paint job that somebody else does and it's all craziness, I'm like, how much stuff did you hide in there? <laughs> Me personally, orange is one of my favorite colors. Um, always has been. Everything I have has orange on it somewhere. Um, so, I mean, if somebody does give me the carte blanche, I probably will mix up a cool orange to go. I mean, like I said, it's, it's, it's somewhat of an honor to be, to be asked, you know, to, hey, be our, you know, our ambassador. I mean, it's it's cool. They could pick anybody, you know. But they picked me. 
Um, I would recommend Matrix to anybody's shop just because it works. I mean, it's been working for me. And I, and I feel also as a custom painter, like I said before, you're, you're pushing this stuff to the limits. So you're not, and it works doing that, um, which is great because one of the hardest things to do in my, you know, in my circumstance was, was jumping ship from everything that I had known to say, hey, I'm gonna use this, this system. And like I said, it's a, it was such a seamless transition for me. Right from the start, zero problem. So that, that was a boost for me to really dive right into the whole system. So I would totally recommend it to somebody else.